Hi everyone, this is Mylene. Thank you so much for watching and for today's video, as you can see from the title, ikukumpare natin yung tatlong apps na si Gcash, Paymaya at Coinspeech kung sino nga ba sa kanila yung best na app pagdating sa pagbabayad ng MP2 or yung modified pag-ibig 2 po natin. Okay, so, oh by the way, I think that it's only um, two. Dalawang app lang kasi hindi ako nakapagbayad ng MP2 gamit si Pay Maya and I don't know why. Kung sino man sa inyo nakapagbayad ng MP2 gamit si Pay Maya, then let me know in the comments down below anong nangyari. Hindi ko kasi alam kung ano naging problem, bakit hindi ako nakapagbayad ng aking MP2 savings kay Pay Maya. Ginawa ko naman lahat, pero I think my best wasn't good enough. I don't know, kasi nung dito, um, sinabi account number... So, nilagay ko yung MP2 account number pero hindi siya naging valid. Let's see. I just wanna show you kung paano. Kasi tinry ko siya two consecutive months. Like, February at saka March at ginawa ko for both payments. Kasi, nagbayad ako or kumuha ko ng video and yung MP2 ko at MP2 ng husband ko yung ginamit kong um, pambayad. Um, yeah. So, unfortunately, hindi siya naging successful dito. Ilang beses na akong nag-try at gawin natin ulit ngayon uh, just to show you. Okay, so, I believe ito mga complete information. Okay, and just very quick lang just to show you kung bakit hindi siya nag-work. At kung nag-work sa inyo, nakatry kayo at nag-work naman sa inyo, then please let me know kung ano naging problem sa pag-enter ko ng information. Okay, so, of course, you have to double-check information like so. And yun, ito nga yung nangyari. The operation has timed out at parating may pay bills error. Iba-iba po yung nagiging message niya po all the time. So, hindi po siya nag-work sa Paymaya ko. Okay? But, let's see. Try natin dito kay Queens. Let me see. At i-compare natin yung kaibahan nila. And, um, okay. So, maybe let's start with Queens Peach. Kasi, uh, medyo nagka-problem ako here. Since, um, ito yung ginamit ko sa previous video ko kung paano magbayad ng um, MP2 gamit kay Queens. Naging successful po yung aking pagbayad. Actually, I can show you Mm, the receipt, yeah, the picture, I mean, the picture of the receipt, let me show you, ito po yung receipt na sinend sa akin ni Queen's PH noong nagbayad po ako ng um, MP2, o, yun yung pinaniniwalaan ko eh, akala ko MP2 yung binaya binayaran ko, pero ito yung receipt, hindi sinasabi dito na MP2 yung sinave, I mean, binayad mong savings or binayad mo. Sinabi lang dito pag-ibig membership savings, yung pag-ibig MID number. Actually, yung pag-ibig MID number, ito po yung ating pag-ibig ID na ito po yung papakita ko po sa inyo. Um, pag nag-apply po kayo ng pag-ibig 2 or MP2, ito po yung form, tapos may susulat po dito si pag-ibig representative. May dalawa po yan. Yung pang-una is yan po yung MP2 account number at yung pangalawa is yung pag-ibig MID number o yung pag-ibig ID number po natin. Okay, so ito po, nandito po yung information, nakapag-buy po tayo ng 500, tapos may fee po na, ay hindi po yan, may ito po, uh, nakapag-buy po tayo ng 500 gamit si Coins. Naging successful siya. Unfortunately, nung pumunta po kami sa pag-ibig, um, hindi pa po na-post yung um, aking February at saka March na payment through Coins. So, as you can see here, ito po yung income statement. Ay, hindi naman po siya income statement. Ito po yung statement kasi humingi po ako ng statement kay pag-ibig for me to show you na rin kung um, bakit wala at hindi na post hindi naman sa bakit kasi hindi natin alam bakit hindi pa na po post pero ito lang, ipapakita ko sa inyo ito yung isa so this is through coins PH itong first na payment dito na nakikita ninyo ayan, transaction date is January 1st and then yung po, oops yung post date niya is actually um, January 10 so that's actually 
7, 8, 9, 10, 3 days na post na po siya. Pero this is the first time na nag-enroll kami ng MP2. So, doon lang din kami nagbayad sa pag-ibig office. Kaya siya mabilis na nag-post. Kaso, ang question, bakit hindi na post dito yung February at saka yung March namin na payment through Queen's PH? Kasi it's been 2 months. It's been 2 months na hindi pa na po post yung February as you can see here. Um, ito, ito yung first transaction po namin or payment namin kay Queens papuntang MP2. As you can see, um, February 15 po namin ginawa. Until now, it's already March. At nung pumunta kami dun sa pag-ibig, it was March 14. So, hindi ko alam bakit hindi pa na post yung payment namin dito. Right? So... Yes, yan po yung naging problem. Ang worry ko, feeling ko, yung payment na ginawa namin kay Coins ay pumasok dun sa MP1 at hindi sa MP2. And that is because kung makikita nyo at mapapansin nyo po sa um, app po ni Coins PH, ang hinihingi po nila dito is actually the pag-ibig MID number at hindi po yung MP2 account number mismo. Alright, so dun lang po, medyo confusing at um, malakas, malakas po talaga yung loob ko, although hindi pa ako confirm kasi kailangan, confirmation will come from pag-ibig, ano, pero kahit hindi pa na confirm feeling ko talaga, kung naging successful naman yung pag-payment, I mean, pag-pay ko kay Coins, as you can see here from the receipt, then dalawa lang yan, it's either, I mean, it's either napasok siya sa MP1 na pag-ibig or, or um, hindi natin alam. Pero yun, yun ang feeling ko talaga. So, I still have to confirm on that and I will definitely update you. Right, guys? But, yes, yun po yung naging problem. And, by the way, I want to say, I want to shout out, I want to give a shout out to Paul Resurrection kasi... Siguro, um, isa siyang viewer at nang nag-watch siya ng video ko kung paano magbayad ng MP2 gamit si Queens. Nag-comment siya below na sabi niya, napapasok po ba yan sa MP2 considering na MID or MP2, I mean MP1 number po yung in-enter ninyo. So, doon na, nagkaisip na rin ako at naisip ko na, oo nga, totoo yun. Actually, meron din akong doubts about that. So, kinumpirma ko na. I mean, hindi naman kinonfirm pero pumunta talaga ako ng pag-ibig at doon nalaman ko nga na hindi nga na po so, doon, malaki ang chance na sa MP1 siya napasok at hindi sa MP2. Which is, yun naman talaga yung goal natin, hindi ba? And so, here, alright, here, ito naman yung aking GCash na payment na ginawa ko ng February 18. At, ito, 1,000 yung binayad ko. Ayan po yung kanyang account number. I mean, ito po yung account number. At ito po yung MP2 account number. Ang kagandahan kasi dito kay Gcash na app. Okay. Dito kasi kay um, Gcash na app. Kung mapapansin nyo, pag nagpipay kayo ng bills, I mean, nagpipay kayo ng pag-ibig. Okay, let me just um, open that one. Eto, sa pay bills tapos pag-ibig. Um, dito kasi, may dalawa kang pag- I mean, meron kang pagpipilian. Contrib um, members, contribution ba yan? Pag-ibig or uh, modified pag-ibig to savings ba yan? Or yung housing loan ba yan? So, dito pa lang, clear ka na na, syempre, pag-ibig to talaga yung pipiliin mo. ba Unless hindi naman yun talaga yung gusto mong ibayad. Unlike kay um, Queen's PH, walang ganong option. Ang hinihingi lang nila is yung pag-ibig MID number o yung pag-ibig ID number mo. So, mas sigurado ka kay Gcash mo na account. And then, dito, isulat mo na yung account number mo, which is the MP2 account number na nagsustart sa F5. And then, yung amount na gusto mo ibayad and so on. Right? So, yan po. Yun yung kaibahan. Yan yung kaibahan kay Coins at kay Gcash. Although, naging successful po yung pag-enter at saka pag-bayad um, ko gamit si Coins. Pero, there's a big chance na pumasok siya sa pag-ibig savings or yung savings na binabayad natin pag may employer tayo. Tapos, yung employer na babayad din ng part of it. 
hindi siya sa MP2 na pasok feeling ko po. Yun po yung nangyari. So, please be careful po. I suggest na if you have to pay MP2 or yung MP2 mo na savings, then please do it sa GCash mo na app na app kasi successful po siyang nag nangyari at saka I will show you po yung receipt I mean receipt I mean um, statement from pag-ibig so ito po yung hiningi ko at na post po yung payment na ginawa ko nung February which is this one Ayan, February 18 ko po siyang ginawa. So ito po nakita po natin dito sa pag-ibig na statement na nung um, February 18 ko na transaction, ginawa ko siya ng Feb 18, na post po siya ng February 22. So, that was 4 days. 4 days po bago na post po yung ating payment from GCash. Pero, ang importante po kasi dyan is naging successful po yung pagbayad natin ng MP2 gamit si GCash. Although, nung payment or nung transaction na ginawa ko ng March 8, hindi pa rin siya nag appear dito. I don't know why, but that's because itong March 8 kasi, yung March 8 kasi ay, titingnan natin yung calendar is Friday. So, malamang hindi po makakount yung Saturday and Sunday dyan. So, kung ikakount natin kagaya nung sa isa, 4 days po siya, um, naging 11, 12, 13, 14. Dapat 14 na post na po siya. Pero, exactly March 14 din po kami na pumunta ng pag-ibig at hindi pa siya na post. As you can see here, wala pa siya. Pero, um, confident naman ako na mapapasok, I mean, mapopost naman dito yung payment natin na ginawa kasi same lang naman yung ginawa ko at in-enter kong information kasi kung mali naman yung information let's say, mali yung account number na nilagay mo they will definitely inform at hindi naman yun magpo-push through so maybe na late lang ng konte or maybe, for example, yung post date niya is actually March 14 pero kung mag appear siya sa system nila um, the next day pa. So, hindi pa natin alam yan completely. But, I think for me, the best app talaga to use if you have to pay MP2 is definitely GCash. GCash na lang all the way. Huwag na kayo mag-try sa CoinsPH. Although, kahit sa kay CoinsPH may 5 pesos na cashback. Nagbibigay po sila ng 5 pesos cashback at wala pong charge yun. So, mas makakasave ka. Pero, hindi kasi sure. Hindi ko din kayang i-confirm na sa MP1 na pasok or sa members contribution na pasok yung binayad natin through Queens kasi wala namang confirmation about that at hindi ko rin natanong sa pag-ibig kung dun nga ba nang pasok yung aking binayad through Queens pero furthermore um, to be safe I want you guys to use GCash instead of Queens or instead of Paymaya sa GCash na lang po kasi sigurado at uh, may proof po tayo na na-post po talaga yung payment natin doon. Although, pag nagbayad po kayo ng MP2 or I think any bills sa GCash, may bayad pong 5 pesos for that. But that's okay as long as napasok naman, especially MP2 savings, akala natin nag-save talaga tayo. Then, baka sa late na lang natin ma-realize pag nag-withdraw na tayo ng money, ma-realize natin ay, wala pala. Sabihin ng representative na wala po kayong binayad kay MP2 all because mali, mali yung pagkapasok natin ng pera. So, please be careful guys and um, yeah, kung magbabayad kayo ng MP2 please, gamitin na lang natin si GCash app alone okay for now but i'm not saying we cannot use coins but maybe in the future yeah update nila yung app nila at gagamitin meron na silang option to choose mp2 or yung members contribution ng pagibig right but anyway if you have any questions if you have any comments please feel free to comment down below and i hope to see you next time bye bye see ya